Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue à notre chaîne YouTube qui s'appelle GS Global Institute. Je m'appelle Aditi et je suis en face de vous pour vous aider d'apprendre le français. Et aujourd'hui, on va faire les objets personnels et les objets de la classe. Est-ce que vous êtes prêts? Good morning, good evening to all. Welcome to our YouTube channel that is GS Global Institute. My name is Aditi and I am here in front of you to help you learn French. And this is the 22nd episode at our channel. And today we are going to learn the personal objects as well as objects in the class. But before starting, if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed to our channel yet, please press the subscribe button and also press bell icon in order to get further notifications from our channel. Okay students, so let's start with our today's topic that is les objets personnels. That is the personal objects. So what are personal objects? Personal objects are the objects that we own personally. For example, radio, MP3 player, hat, t-shirt, dress, etc. All these things are the personal objects. Now, we are going to learn that how these personal objects are pronounced in French and what are they called in French. Okay, so let's start. Number one is a portable, which means a mobile phone. Un montre, which means a watch. Now this a uh, and un are les articles and définis, which we have done earlier. If you have not watched that video, I will mention the link in the description. You can go and check that video of the les articles and définis. You will get to know that these two are basically the indefinite articles, which signifies a and an in English. Okay, so. Portable is mobile phone, montre is watch, an appareil photo, an appareil photo which is a photo camera, a radio which means radio, a balade mp3 which is mp3 player. Okay, next is un chen stereo which means a stereo. An ordinator, which is a computer. Next is a sack, which is bag. Un guitar, which is guitar. Un racket, which is racket, badminton racket basically. Un tele, which is a TV. Next is a chapeau, which is a hat. A t-shirt, which is a t-shirt. Un robe, which is dress. A pantalon, which is a pant. A manteau, which is a coat. Des chaussures, which is shoes. Right? Now, I am going to repeat the pronunciation of all the words and then I will move on words. Number one is a portable, which is mobile phone. Une montre, which is a watch. Un appareil photo. Here, this N and this vowel A gets connected and forms un appareil photo. Next is a radio. A balader MP3, un chan stereo, which is a stereo, a nodinata, which means a computer, a sack, which is a bag, un guitar, which is guitar, un racket, racket, un tele, that is a TV, a chapeau, which is a hat, a t shirt, which is a t shirt, un robe, which is a dress. A pantalon, which is a pant, a manteau, which is a coat, and the chaussure, which is shoes. Alright, so now let's move on to the other personal objects. Next is a bracelet, which is bracelet, un écharpe, which is muffler, the gant, which is gloves, the lunette, which are glasses, 
so here we are using they because these things are always in pairs all right so which are more than one and accordingly they become plural for example we say in english a pair of gloves all right so they are more than one and accordingly les articles and defini used here is they okay similarly we say a pair of glasses right which means basically our specs okay so we call it as the lunettes okay for example we want to talk about the sunglasses we would say the lunettes the soleil which means sunglasses okay next is un cravat which is tie un chemise which is shirt un jupe which is skirt the chaussures which is socks okay so now i am going to repeat them a bracelet which is bracelet un ishab which is muffler the gong which is glass the lunette which are glasses the lunette du soleil which are sunglasses un cravat that is tie un chemise that is shirt un jupe that is skirt and the chaussures that is socks okay now i am going to give you a small exercise and what you have to do in this question you have to identify the objects and write them down respectively in english you will be given 1 minute and later on i will discuss the answers with you okay so your time starts now Okay now let's start the discussion number 1 is an ordinator an ordinator is computer next is a pantalon pantalon is pant the chaussure what is chaussure chaussure is shoes okay next is a chapeau chapeau is hat an appareil photo is photo camera next is un montre montre is watch so these are the answer for the respective questions and now you have one more question to do which is this you have to write down what the respective things are called in french and in the similar manner i am going to give you one minute to answer these questions too and your time starts now
Okay, now let's discuss the answers. Number one is bracelet. And what is bracelet called in French? It is called a bracelet. Okay. Next is skirt. That is une jupe. Tie is une cravat. Next is gloves, which is de gaunt. Sunglasses, de lunettes, de soleil. Okay. So these are the answers for the question. Okay. So now we are going to move towards the next topic, which is les objets de la classe. Okay, so what is les objets de la classe? Les objets de la classe means objects in the class. Okay, so which are the things that are usually included in a classroom? Okay, number one is a stylo, which means pen. Here, one thing that has to be kept in mind that you need not to pronounce this T as T. This T is basically known as T in French and accordingly this becomes a stylo which is a pen. Next is une gomme which means an eraser. Next is des ciseaux. Now why they is used here because we always say pair of scissors. Okay. So they are usually plural. Okay. That is why we have used de ciseaux which means ciseaux. Okay. Next is a cahier. Cahier means a notebook. Un trousse which is a pencil kit. An ordinator, which is a computer, this also came in the personal object, but this can also be present in the class. Okay, a tableau, which means a whiteboard, an horloge, which means a wall clock, they calcute, which means calculators, this is feminine nature, un ragle, which means rulers. A crayon, which is pencil. Le taille crayon, which means sharpener. A livre, which is a book. Une table, which is a table. Une chaise, which means a chair. Next is la colle, which means glue. Des crayons, the cooler. Here we did earlier which was a crayon and a crayon basically means pencil but when it is written de crayon the cooler which means pencil colors. Okay. Next is un port which means door, un fenêtre which means window, de papier which means pages. Okay. Now I am going to repeat these words. Number one, a stylo, which is a pen, un gomme, which means an eraser, de ciseaux, which means scissor, un cahier, which means notebook, un trousse, which is pencil kit, un ordinateur, which is computer, a tableau, that is whiteboard, an horloge, which is a wall clock. They calculate, which means calculators. Un ragle, which means ruler. A crayon, that is pencil. Le taille crayon, which means sharpener. A livre, that is a book. Un table, which means table. Un chaise, means chair. La colle, which is the glue. Next is the crayon, the cooler, which means pencil colors. Next is un port, which means door. And un fenêtre, which means window. Next is the papier, which means pages. So these were the objects in the classroom. And now we are going to do a short practice session for this too. 
here is the first question in this question you have to identify the objects and write their names respectively in english and your time starts now Now let us start the discussion. Number one is a tai crayon. A tai crayon is a sharpener. A sharpener. Next is la coal. La coal is glue. Une fenêtre is window. Next is the papier, which is papers or pages, an horloge, which is wall clock. Okay, so now let's move to the next question that is, what are the following called in French? Okay, and your time starts now. Now let's start the discussion. Number one is a pair of scissors, which is the scissor. Okay. Next is a white board, which is a tableau. Door is un port. Here it is a tableau. Okay. Next is pencil kit, which is un throughs. Calculator, un calculate. Okay. So these are the answers for the respective questions. Okay, so this was all about our today's topic that is Les Objets de la Classe A, Les Objets Personnel. But before ending, I want to add on a thing here, which is that students, JS Global Institute is located in Jignao, Punjab, and we deal in with various services such as PR file application, study visa, IELTS preparation, SAP formation, and many more. So if you have any query related to any of the immigration process, you can feel free to contact us. I will mention all the details in the description box. You can contact us and one thing more I want to add on is that I have recorded various lectures of French in the form of episodes from episode 1 to episode 21. So I will mention all those links of the episodes in the description box too. So if you have any query related to any particular topic, you can go and watch that topic on our channel. 
Thank you so much for watching students and if you really liked our video please press like button and you have if you have still not subscribed our channel please press subscribe button and bell icon too to get further notifications from our channel. Thank you so much. Au revoir.